Netflix is reportedly putting together a documentary on disgraced TV star Jimmy Savile. It is understood that documentary, which is still unnamed, will take a look into the life of the Shane small screen presenter. It will focus on the heinous crimes he committed against hundreds of young people and children, which took place during his television reign. Following the success of their four-part series on pedophile Jeffrey Epstein, the upcoming show will explore just how he was able to get away with his sickening crimes, despite being a prominent figure in the public eye. According to reports, the series will also uncover Saville's close connections with British royals along with friendships with a number of celebrities. Read more related articles Read more related articles Speaking to the Sun, an insider said it's hoped that the doc will drop on the streaming platform next year. They said, it will consider some of his friendships with famous faces and the royal family, and how he got away with so much despite being in the public eye for so long. Saville had allegations of child abuse made against him dating back to 1963, but the allegations were only widely publicized after his death in 2011, aged 84. Read more related articles Read more related articles The Leeds native rose to fame when he hosted BBC shows including Top of the Pops and Jim Fixit and was widely praised for raising an estimated £40 million for charities during his lifetime. A year after Saville's death, an ITV investigation looked into the claims made by his victims, prompting Scotland Yard to launch a criminal investigation, named Operation UT. The Met stated that the total number of alleged victims was 589, of whom 450 alleged abuse by Saville. Read more related articles Read more related articles A significant part of Saville's career and public life involved working with children and young people, including visiting schools and hospital wards. Police believe that Saville may have been the most prolific pedophile in British history. Following the allegations, many places and organizations named after or connected to Saville were renamed or had his name removed. 